been up a long time today, man. My goodness. Who was that? For what? Four three? Three and three and some change? Three yeah, I thought it was close to four. It was that was that was long. Yeah, he, well, Jake never really had the command uh, like he normally is used to. You saw that. I saw that. Uh, and Cincinnati started out the same way but then kind of found not kind of found it, found it. Today I just thought 92 after 5 it wasn't really worth it. We had enough of a lead and enough of a, a fresh bullpen that I thought, let's just get him out. Uh, why stretch it to 5-plus and 105 or 110? It didn't make any sense to me at all. Different game, like one nothing, yeah. 0-0 zero, zero probably, yeah. Uh, but under the circumstances, I thought um, – that was plenty for him today. And then uh, bullpen, you know, hung in there really well. I thought Grimm was very good. Of course, Cahill trying to get trying to get, uh, get him stretched out like we did with Warren. Not near, not as sharp as Warren had been, but still got his 50 pitches in, which is good. And then we got another inning out of uh, Neil. And I like the fact that Strope, he only had to get one out and get out of there. I just, you know, just for his own mental well-being, I thought that was uh, a, good, a good moment for him. Did not. I saw 92 pitches. I saw Jake Arrieta. I saw the Cubs trying to win a World Series. I saw the next five years of his career. I know his kids really well. Uh, all that stuff mattered much more than breaking Gibson's record right there. You, you saw him talking that yeah, he didn't want to come out. He didn't want to come out. And I was going to have him hit there, but once we got all the guys on base, I, I shifted strategy. I'm trying to, um, you know, uh, figure the whole thing out because KB's out of the game. Baez is in. Uh, you're going to have to start hitting for pitchers, so should I let him hit? No, let's so Lair hit right there. I got one guy left, Caesar. When we're going to use him, I wanted to upgrade the defense because you don't know if they're going to get back in the game. Uh, so that's Listella. So there was like this really um, a lot of forward thinking, trying to figure out what may happen in that game. So um, yeah, there was, there was, there was a whole, I mean, even though it was seven to one, <laughs> there was a lot of stuff going on. Okay, Chris, yeah, um, he he went for an MRI on his ankle, yeah. and. Uh, Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, uh, you saw him jog off the field when I pulled him off. You know, he, I wanted to get him before he went back on. A um, lot of stuff, like I said, going on. Got him too late. Javi, we got Javi back out on the field. So I saw him jog back in. So I, I don't, I don't even want to create conjecture. Um, let's just see what happens. Let's look at the test. I'll, I'll, I will know more once I hear back from PJ. Um, not really. Um, you know, I, I really didn't. Uh, for me, um, you know, he just he just a co does a couple things. You know, he lays back a little bit too far, and Boz was talking about it the way he was landing a little bit. But it's just it's stuff that's very fixable, and you can't expect the guy to be um, perfect every time. Uh, Coming and actually, the extra rest. You sometimes you think it's good, sometimes it's not as good as you think it is. When it comes down to uh, being sharp, so like I said, I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it. He got five and ninety-two. We got a win. Uh, we protected him a little bit tonight. Um, uh, he was upset with himself more than anything. Jake was regarding his fastball command. That's all. I don't know that either because I, for whatever reason, I watched him. I was watching him coming from second to third. I watched him hit the inside edge of the bag. I saw that. But I did not see any hitch in his giddy up. I didn't see any of that. I just saw a really good turn. Then I focused somewhere else at that point. Cool? Yeah? Okay.